Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mobile Weekly slash Mobile Q&A, where we go over all the latest news that happened during the week of mobile and answer your questions live. If you have a question you want to ask, just ask it in the comment section down below and I will answer it before the end of the show. Alright guys, so as we got the chat going, I just wanted to say that uh, if you didn't watch our video earlier, go ahead and watch it. We are doing a raffle for lots of cool prizes. Uh, so yeah, I hope, I hope you know, uh, some of you guys get to win some cool things. I just, I really wanted to share that and like already four people have uh, donated. So really appreciate anything guys, just really helps out. And it's really fun just to have a community that uh, I can share uh, my, my future son's baby shower with. So that's really cool. Um, not to mention that, uh, we are going to have lots of videos this week, including the 10 hidden features on the Note 10. It's scheduled to go up either Tuesday or Wednesday, but look out for that video. I know a lot of you guys, it's, that's like the biggest video you guys always look for, the hidden features. I'm really trying to find them on this one, guys. I don't want to, I, you know me, I hate rehashing the same video. So I will find some new hidden features, I promise you. Not to mention, we will finally get the Jabra uh, headphone review and letting you know these are right up there with Bose and Sony and have some better features than them. So yeah, uh, really cool uh, stuff coming this week, but just wanted to share that with you guys before getting started on the news. And one last thing I just remembered, uh, next week Mobile Weekly will be at 9 p.m. instead of 8 p.m. I know it's a little bit later, but I kind of have to do that just for the fact that that's the only way I'm going to be able to obviously have my baby shower and then come back here and record and everything and set up. Uh, so yeah, just letting you know that, it'll be at 9 p.m. next week. All right, now let's get going with some leaks. Uh, as we know right now, it is mobile phone season or uh, Tech-tember, I think is what MKBHD calls it. Uh, basically, you know, we have the note that just recently released. We have the uh, Pixel that's coming out. We have the uh, Pixels next month though, October. Um, we do have the LG phone, a couple of Motos that just were announced too. Wow is gonna have their announcement. And of course, Apple is having their announcement on the 10th. So uh, lots of things that will be going on uh, rather shortly. So yeah, um, but leaks are coming out continuously. And the Pixel 4 has some good, some bad in terms of its leaks. So, First of all, the look on the back is pretty much what we expected. Um, it really does have a longer uh, body, uh, so I don't know because of the not, because of the bezels up in top. I still think we're going to get an 18 by 9 or 18.5 by 9 aspect ratio. But the phone itself looks like a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. But again, we'll have to wait and see just how big these bezels really are. Overall though, we are looking to get six gigs of RAM, which is a big improvement over the four gigs of RAM. Four gig was way too little for a flagship device. Not that six gigs is the best. I think it really should be at eight if we're paying that much money for a flagship device, but at least six is a good bump up when your Pixel 3a has four gigs as it stands. So uh, that I think was a needed uh, part of it. Uh, we are also getting up to an eight times optical zoom. So we can see here, it goes all the way up to eight times zoom. However, I will say with that eight times zoom, that is also with digital, it looks like. So we'll have to wait and see how much of this is optical. If you think the middle is pretty much where it lands, then it might be up to a four times zoom, or maybe it'll be a three times zoom. I do not believe that it will be a full optical zoom. Uh, up to eight times uh, as this report is showing, but we will have to wait and see. Overall, the camera UI is a little bit different, but not too much from if you have the latest version of Android, Android 10. Um, by the way, if you guys want me to do a review on Android 10, let me know in the comment section down below. I really don't think it's that much of an update. I think the biggest thing that no one is talking about, if you have a Pixel device, is Google brought the buttons back. Uh, on my on my last Pixel, I was not able to use the three buttons of old, the back, the home, and the, uh, and the recent apps button, uh, as it was just the uh, two dot uh, feature that I had. But with the latest version of Android 10, you actually now gained back access to the three buttons as well as the new gestures, but I have my three buttons back. I'm not going to the stupid gestures because they're horrible. 
Um, so yeah, I'm really happy to see that we got that back on stock Android, something I didn't think we would really get. Now, other third-party manufacturers have done it, but it's not something that Google obviously was putting on their Pixel device because they want to move us towards gestures. I think they had too many complaints internally to actually warrant that they actually brought it back. So I think that that's something that not a lot of people are talking about. Um, and I, I literally have seen like about 10 reviews on Android 10 and none of them mentioned that. So it's just something that I think was kind of interesting that no one were kind of really like, everyone's talking about the new crappy gestures, but no one's actually talking about the ability to actually bring back the triple buttons setup. Okay, uh, now let's get to some of the phones that were announced. Now, I know the TCL Plex was announced, but that one is not coming to the US as it stands. Uh, if it does, then I will talk about it. But as of right now, that's the reason why I'm not really covering it as much. And it's not that much of a hyped uh, phone. Of course, it's going to be a entry level or mid range device. Um, another mid range device, though, that is really interesting is the Moto One Zoom. Now, this phone has been looked at and talked about for a while as being not a flagship because it's really still not it's really a mid-range device um but it's funny because there was no plans to bring this to the u.s but there was so much demand that literally moto changed their mind at ifa apparently from what a lot of youtubers have said is basically they had changed their mind and yes it is coming now um so what is special about this one well let me let's put it here so it has a three times optical zoom. I think it's only the second phone to have a three times optical zoom that'll come to the US. Um, it has a 10 times hybrid zoom, but remember hybrid is such a uh, word. It has three times zoom. I know they want to claim, oh, it has a 10 times zoom. Y yeah, but who cares? I mean, if you're doing digital, it's really grainy. The only one I've seen it do justice in digital has been the Pixel phone. I know the P30 apparently has as well, but I've never reviewed that device, so I cannot say specifically for me. But uh, from what I've seen, yeah, it does a pretty acceptable job, at least as long as you're well lit. Ultra wide angle camera, really good. We have 16 megapixels on that, which is good because not every ultra wide is actually as good. A lot of them are 8 megapixels or less. Um, the 48 megapixel main camera, of course, that is with pixel bending, so you're probably getting a 16 or 12 megapixel camera in actuality. And then the depth of the camera is five megapixels. So again, that's just for depth. So it's not, doesn't need to be that high in megapixels. Uh, it's an F 1.7, which is respectable for a um, phone in this price range. I would like to see, of course, F 1.6 and F 1.5 get better and better so we can get better quality low light, but of course still good, especially in this mid range price. You also have a 25 megapixel selfie camera, so it should be rather detailed at least, whether it's good or not in low light, we'll have to wait and see. Um, but you do have also a Snapdragon 675, and that's how you know it's a mid-range device. Four gigs of RAM, 128 gigs of internal storage, and a 4,000 milliamp battery, which I'm happy about that. And it also includes a 15 watt fast charging, although to be quite honest, I don't consider 15 watts fast charging at this point point anymore uh 15 watts is you know a little bit slower i, I want to see to to consider fast charging in this day and age i feel like you at least have to be 18 i mean even apple's 18 of course you have to buy it separately but i i really don't want to call 15 watt fast charging anymore now when we have 25 30 and 45 fast watt chargers those are fast charging now 15 watt is pretty much standard at this point um, we also are going to have Android 10 shortly. Uh, it's not going to be launched with it though. It will be Android 9 launched with it. Uh, it does have type C dual SIM band, the region of course, and it has a headphone jack. Um, when it comes to the U S it will be sold from Motorola's website. No carrier agreements have been made. Again, they did not plan to originally bring it to the U S and this will be at 449. So good price point, good phone, but if you have followed me for a little bit, you do know there is a better one in almost that same price range that gives you real flagship specs. Not as many cameras, but still has the 48 megapixel camera. We will be doing the full review on the Red Magic 3 soon for that because yeah, it, I mean for 449, 479, 855 processor, a lot more things. So again, what they have is the brand and they have a really cool looking phone, really unique looking style. And I think it's Motorola. So it's a brand that people trust. 
but would I would I recommend it? Probably not to most people. You have to be a fan of Motorola for me to really recommend this one, in my opinion. Uh, we'll have to test out some more stuff for it, but that is my opinion on the device. All right. Um, okay, sorry, just making sure uh, that everything's going okay in this chat. All right, the next one is the LG G8X ThinQ. Now, this one is a really interesting device, and in my opinion, actually, this is the device I am most excited for from IFA. Now you might be like, well, why is that? What what is it really? You know, what has it really done to kind of garner um, all of any hype that it has? Well, this phone comes with, as from what we're hearing, it's going to come with a case that gives you a dual display. Uh, it was on the thumbnail, and we've seen a lot of uh, images of it, where basically it just it gives you a secondary screen through a case. And this is something that I am, quite frankly, really interested in because I like the idea of having a low tier price phone, not, not of course, like low tier as in it's going to be like $500, but a under thousand dollar phone that's going to give you dual display. And although it's not perfect because it has a big division in front of it, it really is interesting. And it's one phone that I, I, I want to get my hands on. Out of all the phones announced at IFA, this is the phone I am most excited for. Now, will it sell well? Okay, so it has the Snapdragon 840, uh, sorry, 855. Uh, it has a 4,000 milliamp battery. So that's a big improvement over the original G8. One of the biggest things I did not care about for about the G8 was, I think it was, a, um, correct me if I'm wrong, 3,300 or 3,500. Uh, but I think it should have had a much better battery inside of it. This one does. You also have 128 gigs of storage. So again, good storage and expandable. 6.4 inch display, not too big, which is good. I did like that about the G8 itself. Um, decent cameras on the back. You had the wide angle, you didn't have a telephoto. Um, and a improved 32 megapixel front camera. So hopefully we'll get better selfies and it'll still be wide angle. But overall, I am just excited about the prospect of this. Now, here's the thing. As far as I know, and I'm going to double check this right away. Yeah, as far as I know, we do not have a price point on this device yet. But, oh my god, LG, please, 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 don't overprice this phone. Please, keep it around. If, if you can, $800. I know that's cutting in your budget. But if you sell it at $800 maybe 850 I think you're gonna sell a lot better than you would otherwise I, I really do believe that this phone can sell if priced white now right right um um let me know what you guys think though what price point would make you interested in this phone and you know consider everything else out there you know you have your uh one pluses you have your s uh 10s s 10e all these different price phones what price would this phone be at that it would not not necessarily buy it but just make you like I really have to consider this phone because again the cameras were good the battery life wasn't good but now they changed the the battery to be much better it has the top processor out there so if it gave you a second display with the case what price point would this phone have to be for to make you want to buy it I'm really curious uh, to let you guys know but this is the phone I'm most interested in uh, coming from IFA. Now, a phone that's not coming from IFA, but we do know it is coming shortly, is the Huawei Mate 30. Now, its announcement will be September 19th, so a little bit after the Apple announcement. The Apple announcement is on the 10th, and now that I just come to think about it, this phone is being announced the day before Apple launches. That's just kind of interesting to me. Uh, but yeah, so pretty interesting in terms of that. Overall, with that, I will say that, to be quite honest, I am really interested in this phone, but the fact that this phone, as of right now, is being talked about as of not having Google services is really troubling. Um, I know that not every Chinese 
phone actually comes with Google services and there's ways to add them on there. But if it's not easy, I just don't know if it would be worth importing it at all. Um, and it needs Google services. It does. It, it just needs them. So I'm really curious. Um, are you guys done with Huawei? Are you guys interested in this phone? Again, the Huawei Mate 20 Pro was my second best phone of last year. Uh, really came close to topping it, to be honest. So this is a phone that I have been personally very interested in um, and I would love to have, but as of right now, everything's pointing to it will not have Google Play services, which would make this phone a non-starter for me. Let me know what you guys thoughts are on that. Okay, um, Apple has opened up their pre-registrations uh, for the US. Now this is pre-registration, a silly thing that uh, Samsung does. Uh, did I say Apple earlier? I meant Samsung. Samsung Galaxy Fold is up for pre-registration. The interesting thing is, is they also canceled everyone who did pre-order it last time. So if you did pre-order it last time, your pre-order has been officially canceled. Meaning that everyone gets a fresh start, which I am very happy with because I did not know I could pre-order this device last time around. So again, it gets me thinking if I'm actually going to buy this device. As of right now, I really, really don't think so. I think that I am saying no to the fold. It just, it, it doesn't have anything that I, I really like. I spent a thousand dollars on this phone. It's very hard for me to justify getting the fold as well for $2,000. Like if they would offer me a trade-in for my S10 plus, of $800, I might be interested in. But it, it really has to be close to that for me to want to do it. Just because like, the, or they need to have something wow for the actual pre-order. I just, I don't know. It did sell out in Korea, but now some people are saying that, oh, well it was like less than 100,000 sold. So yeah, they sold out, but they didn't really make that many for Korea. We'll have to wait and see what the actual numbers are for the device, but at two thousand dollars, it, it I just as of right now I'm saying no. Speaking of uh, phone selling in Korea and all over the world by Samsung, Samsung has somehow sold two million five G phones, and considering the Note 10 5G just came out, you have to believe that most of these were the S10 5G model. Um, I don't believe the A, uh, what is it, the A90 5G has even come out yet, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so yeah, it really has to be the S10 5G that sold, you know, like 1.8 million of these. Um, and a million of them were sold in Korea, but that means a million of them were sold around the world. Who's buying 5G phones? <laughs> like, I, I mean, I, I just, the millimeter wave to me is not worth buying right now. I understand that there are uh, companies like uh, Sprint and uh, some parts of T-Mobile that are more concerned about, you know, 4G LTA calling it 5G and, you know, really all that it is is giving higher uh, download speeds on a consistent basis. So in the US, a good download speed is more like 50 megabits per second. Um, and what you would want and what Sprint's 5G, for instance, is giving is closer to 200, 300, which is way better than most people's cable services or uh, internet services for their home in the US. So that is ideal. And that is the kind of want to see. Now, is this gigabit speed? No, we're not getting the gigabit speed that 5G is truly capable of with millimeter waves. But again, that is a speed that like if you cross the street, you're not getting. So we'll have to wait and see how it uh, turns out overall, but I think that it's very interesting that, that many phones have sold already and they expect to sell 2 million more by the end of the year. That would be with the Note 10 5G, with the Galaxy Fold 5G, and of course with the much cheaper A90 5G all coming to different countries. So it'll be interesting to see how it all turns out. Apple is doing their announcement on the 10th, but this is very interesting, something they've never done before. They are finally bringing it to YouTube. Now, the reason why that's so interesting is because Apple's never done this. Apple has never done this. For the longest time, you can only see the Apple announcement on an Apple device. Then a couple of years back, they opened it up to Microsoft Edge. Only Edge, nothing else could also see it. You couldn't see it on a Chrome browser. Now they're opening it up to everyone, everyone on YouTube. 
So this is kind of interesting for multiple reasons. And one I think is a very messed up reason to be quite honest. And that is for what I plan on doing. I plan on doing a live stream of it when it was announced. Can I do that now? Probably not uh, because I will probably get flagged like this. I will try to maybe do it. Uh, let me know if you guys want me to do a live uh, stream. We have done them in the past with Apple devices. Um, and yeah, I think I think the one, part of the reason they're doing this is to yes, open it up. But I believe it's Apple and they're like, well, if people are going to do live reactions and gain money through it, then why don't we just do it? It's really been a lot of what certain manufacturers have been doing lately, right? Samsung and Apple and all these manufacturers are kind of doing videos that YouTubers do. So like I saw a horrible Samsung video that said tips and tricks and they were garbage. Uh, but it's like, it's like, so they're, they're trying to do like hidden features or tips and tricks, things that other YouTubers do, how to save battery life, all these kind of things. Um, they're not as good to be quite honest. And that, and that is saying it, just looking at Apple's and looking at Samsung's, the people in charge of it are not doing that good of a job. And I'm sorry if you're the person doing it and you're watching this or anything like that, but you're not doing a good job at really looking at the content as YouTubers do like, and that might be just because it's a third party perspective, but it's, it's really interesting that some of these companies are doing this because they're like, well, if other people are making money off it, why can't we? It, uh, WWE, um, the wrestling show I, uh, channel or company I watch does the same thing now where everyone was doing reactions to watching their pay-per-views. So now WWE started doing their own reactions with their own people doing the reviews. So it, it's really interesting that companies are like, huh, other people are making money off of this. Why don't we do it too? And it, it's really interesting just the way that social media is going and moving in a certain direction. Um, it's, it's interesting. That's all I have to say about that. All right. Uh, so as we were talking about earlier, the Mate 30 Pro most likely will not have Google services. As of right now, it looks like the Huawei Mate X will not have that either. Um, and that's a really big thing because if Huawei can't put Android 10 on it, that is what's going to be a big support for the entire bendable phone lineup. And if they can't have it on there, that's not good for them. Um, again, this is a really big thing that Huawei will be in big trouble if this continues on and it's definitely taking its toll. All right, then in the last bit of news today, just a quick update uh, for those of you who are planning on getting the Galaxy Watch Active 2. I did pre-order mine, so I will be getting it, I think by the end of this month. Um, I forgot what date it was, uh, been doing a lot today, but I will be getting mine. I pre-ordered it. Um, and uh, if you pre-order it, by the way, you do get a wireless charger for free, just so you know, uh, or oh, sorry, a battery pack that has wireless charging in it. Um, but they will have ECG and fall detection added by Q1 of 2020. Uh, so basically by the time the S11 comes out, this will be an update that they're probably talking about. It pushed out uh, to the watch, which will make it a much bigger competitor to the Apple watch having uh, mostly pretty much tack for tack the same fitness capabilities as Apple does. Granted, about two years later, so yeah, not not the not the best reputation in terms of keeping up with the health trend, but at least it's there. And for people that are on Android, this is a much better solution uh, than anything else out there for getting these kind of results. All right, guys. Now let's get to your questions. I see you guys have been firing off in the chat today. We have a lot of movement on here, so let me get to your questions right now. All right. Uh, thank you for suggesting the Note 10 Plus upgrade from the Note 9. Very good uh, choice setup yesterday. A perfect balance between new and old features. I'm glad you liked it, Miriam. I really do believe that anyone that has the Note 9 should upgrade to the Note 10. I know I've been very late uh, on a lot of those videos that I promised when it comes to doing those things. But I will say this, um, as most of you guys know, I started a new job and it had a lot more travel than I thought it would uh, throughout the first weeks. Things are constantly changing. So I've been doing my best to adapt to it. I've been really behind on my note videos and that's why I do want to take the time tonight to record a bunch of them and hopefully have a lot throughout the week so that I get back to my one a day that I like to do for the channel. Um, and I think I'll be able to do that uh, overall this week. So we'll have to wait and see. I'm not traveling this week as of yet, 
Um, but yeah, I've been I've been traveling almost every day on the, my new job. I, I'm really excited about it. I really love it. But of course, it has kept me a little bit more away from YouTube, and not to mention with everything going on. Just um, I'm at the point where um, my wife could, uh, you know, give birth now. So it's like past the 34 weeks, you're like, oh wow, like it could happen now, and everything would be fine with the baby. Um, but it, it's like it, it's possible right now for it to happen. So that, you know, makes me definitely like on pins and needles because I still am like, wait, I have time. I have time. It's not till October. I'm fine. And now knowing that has more freaked me out, I would say more than I would uh, like to admit. So yeah, definitely something that it's kind of stuck in the back of my head now uh, that it could happen at any moment. <laughs> um, would you buy the Mate 30 Pro even though it doesn't have Google services? No, I would not buy it if it does not have a way to easily put Google services on there. No, I wouldn't. Uh, would you recommend upgrading to the Note 10 Plus or wait for the Note 11? I have an SA Plus. Uh, the Note 10 Plus would be a huge upgrade from the SA Plus, like a huge upgrade. It was a huge upgrade for my wife that had the Note, t uh, Note 8 which of course was after the SA Plus. So yeah, it would be a huge upgrade and I definitely think um, it would be one that you would really like. Uh, my wife has loved her Note 10. She didn't even get the Plus. She got the regular Note 10 and it's been a big upgrade from her. She likes the cameras. Uh, she likes the overall uh, smaller form factor because the Note 10 is actually smaller um, phone wise than the Note 8 was. However, it's a bigger, it's the same size screen. So she really likes that part of it. What's up, Ricky? How's it going? Pretty good, MFX. Um, have you tried the 45-watt charger yet? I have not gotten mine yet. I am still waiting on it. And, yeah. I have uh, everything ready, by the way, for the wireless charge video. I should upload that soon, too. On If you should buy the new fast wireless charger. Spoilers, you're better off getting the one from last year. Uh, but, yeah. Um, that All that is inbound. Um... Hi, Ricky. How have you... Uh, I hope you had a nice birthday. Thank you very much. Um, I want to buy an S10 Plus, but undecided between the Unlocked and the T-Mobile version. Also, you think price will go down during the holidays? Price will definitely go down during the holidays. Uh, or there will be some sale or something or something or rather. Right now, I don't think Samsung or T-Mobile has anything on the S10 Plus as a deal-wise. Um, so I don't know about that. Um, but... Um, between the T-Mobile version and the unlocked version, I have the T-Mobile version, had no issues with it whatsoever. Um, with the unlocked version, I have that for the Note 10 Plus. I have not noticed any issues on T-Mobile whatsoever. Um, I know my friend pointed out, though, that he has the unlocked version uh, of the regular Note 10, I believe. And he had some issues um, doing the whole data and calls at the same time. I haven't had that issue, so... I am not sure if it's a plus versus the regular variant, but I have not had any issue with that. Uh, but let me know in the comments section if you've heard anything about the T-Mobile, or sorry, the unlocked version of an S10 or a Note 10 having any issues on T-Mobile. Let me know. I get Wi-Fi calling. I get Voice over LTE. I have that. Um, I know AT&T doesn't offer that on the unlocked versions, uh, but I'm not sure if anything else is missing or not available. Which 5.1 sound part do you recommend? Uh, do you own a sound bar? If so, which one? Um, funny you should say that. Our review is coming up soon for a new Harman Kardon sound bar. Uh, I, I finished reviewing it. I just need to post the review now. Um, and finish doing some B-roll shots. Uh, but I really love it. It is not a 5.1 surround sound, though. Um, so it's just a one sound bar that simulates surround sound so that you feel like you're hearing it from different sides and it, it's really good uh when you put the right kind of audio on there um now in terms of um which soundbar that i own i i just i got i replaced my creative soundbar the creative soundbar was amazing for the price i think it was under 80 bucks blows away most soundbars does not offer any obviously 5.1 surround sound for that price point but if you just want a really good quality sound bar with an amazing bass for a ridiculous price, I definitely recommend that one. Um, I mean, under 100 bucks, and it blows most $200 and $300 sound bars out of the water. 
But if you're looking to spend more 500 plus, I mean, like the um, the the um, the one I'm reviewing right now, I want to say is 500 or 600 if I remember off the top of my head. Which again, I'll say that in the review, uh, the right price. Uh, but that one's really good, and it's not a 5.1, so. It really depends on what you're looking for and what features you have. There's one there's one feature that I would probably want in surround sound, and that is Dolby Atmos. I would not buy any 5.1 surround sound system without Dolby Atmos. So that would be something I would look for if you're planning on getting a uh, surround sound system. Your hair looks weird. What's wrong with it? <laughs> uh my tab s6 was delivered on september 5th and i'm loving it uh let me know what you like about it i'm really curious uh i, I still have not gotten it but i've debated back and forth a little bit it's just right now knowing that i'm going to have to buy the iphone knowing that i'm going and i'm still you know paying off the note uh and note plus that i got for me and my wife and all of these other things it just uh it, it's a lot has anyone ever said you you look uh like the white guy on barber's shop no although he did get the black girl so you know um uh <laughs> but no i don't think anyone's ever told me that one um i could i could kind of see that if i remember him off the top of my head um like he had a, like a I th he, he just had the goatee right um what Samsung QLED model do you own? I own the Q6 that came out last year. So yeah, I own the I own the QLED 6 series that came out last year, not this year's model. Five five hundred thousand uh, Galaxy Fold units were able in uh, Korea have sold out. A hundred thousand units are being shipped to the U.S. by Tuesday. Okay, so wow. South Korea is getting 500,000. You were getting 100,000. They really don't believe it's going to sell over here, do they? Uh, still haven't jumped on the Note 10 Plus yet. I'm still on the Note 8. Oh, well, hey, that was what my wife moved up from. Uh, I find it funny how Apple refuses to speak on the iPhone 11 Pro. Every case uh, being sold for the pre-order accessories companies list the Apple Pencil compatible. Really? Okay, so... That's interesting that it's going to be Apple Pencil compatible. Are they going to make a smaller version of the Apple Pencil? Saw your video on the UAG cases. Uh, I have all three of those. Really? For the Note 9? I haven't upgraded to the Note 10 Plus yet. I played it with it at BBY today. Speakers a bit uh, a bit better than the Note 9 in my opinion. Uh, I would say so too. Speakers are pretty good uh, and loud. Will you be in the Galaxy Fold to review on your channel? I don't believe so just because of the price. I... I, I Again, if I was, you know, a wealthy YouTuber who had lots of, you know, was one of those ones that are getting, like, you know, a million views per video, absolutely, well, of course I would. But, like, I really am a person that it's just, like, you know, I I would argue I kind of break even sometimes on YouTube. I don't even kind of make money off of it. Uh, but I just love doing this. I love communicating with you guys and love talking tech, love talking with you guys. So that's why I do it. So, yeah. Um... Do you recommend gaming chairs? Uh, I have a gaming chair. If you haven't checked out our review for the Killer Bee gaming chair, um, this is a pretty cool one. They sent it to me. I did a, a sponsored video for them. Did I get, did give my honest feedback on it? Uh, overall, I've liked it. Uh, this has been what three weeks since I got it. Um, but yeah, it's really good. And I'm a heavier set guy, so I, I need something that's comfortable. And this is really comfortable for me. Uh, much better quality than my last one. My last one was just like a standard office chair. This one I could tell why people get gaming chairs because it's it's more comfortable and it's just it's it's more solid built. Hello, hello everyone. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, my phone just turned off in the middle of your live stream. Well, phone. Hope hopefully you gave me two views. <laughs> um S11 will be Samsung's first device with Android 11. I think you mean Android 10. Yeah, Android 10. Uh, sorry, 10. Dang cat uh, likes my laptop, girl. <laughs> um, uh, so, wow. So they're not going to upgrade to Android 10 till then. Uh, and one UI 2.0, April 2020. Note 10, Note 10 Plus, Note 10 Plus 5G will be the first to get the update in May. Wow. I hope that's not true. Because Samsung's actually been doing good this year at getting security updates really quickly out. So it would be such a shame if they're not getting 
it till May. Wow. Hopefully that changes, but as of right now, I'm sure that's what uh, is said because I know you know a lot of the inside information when it comes to Samsung. Um... I got it and live on my Note 10 Plus, uh, but once again, uh, lusting after the Galaxy Fold, I n I'll never sell it. It it's, it keep it as a collectible. That is actually true. It might be a collectible. Uh, you know, 10, 20 years from now, I was cleaning out a lot of my room today. Uh, you know, cleaning out the bedroom so make room for the baby. And it's funny because I was like, I cleaned out. I was looking at some drawers. And the one old school phone I have is my very first Android phone, the Droid One, the the original Droid slide out keyboard and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I just got all kinds of feels uh, when looking at that. I really should charge it and just turn it on. Um, but yeah, um, I bought Samsung new wireless charging stand. It's very good. Amazon has it for fifty five. It's good. It's just you could get this one. And it charges at the same speed. Obviously, you can get fingerprints and all on it. But uh, you can get a dual wireless charger, I think, for less. And this charges at the same speed, plus you get another charger. So, yeah. And I, I, when I say at the same speed, it's a 12-watt charge versus a 15-watt charge. But it actually had no difference. So, yeah. Um... One update people will like is Android 10 is Pixel built-in uh, eSIM support. Oh, that's really nice. I'm glad eSIM is getting better uh, results. That name is too long. LG Barbecue GXL Thin ZQ. <laughs> I love it. Uh, yes, uh, LG definitely needs to improve uh, on their names. Definitely. I have a S8. Uh, the screen timeout is switched on at 30 seconds. I normally have it on 5 minutes. Why is this happening? Uh, another thing is my phone. Um, media sound switches back and forth to half volume when I have set it full. I tried many things and uh, nothing works. What should I do? Uh, will Metro by T-Mobile Insurance cover this? Uh, possibly, if it's really a software defect. The first thing I would do is, um, if you don't have it built in already, download the Samsung Plus app. Or sorry, now it's called the Samsung Members app. Uh, and you can talk to a live Samsung technician and they could actually remote access your phone to uh, see if they can help anything software wise. Um, the, the thing I would check with your 30 seconds thing is check advanced features and see if you have smart stay on. Smart stay is a feature if you're looking at the device, uh, basically it will stay on for longer even if you have it set for 30 seconds, it will stay on without kind of doing it even if you're not looking, even if you're uh, not touching it. And just looking at the phone, it will stay on. Not sure about the volume thing, though, unless it's connecting to a Bluetooth device off and on. Uh, I'm not feeling the hype of Apple's uh, September 10th announcement from anywhere. Uh, I really think is that it just, eh. It, like, I, I really feel like it for the Apple event, it's going to have the triple camera set up and possibly the pen set up, and that's it. Don't know. We'll see. Um, LG G8 850, a couple of hundred more and get you a Note 10. <laughs> yes, but if you don't want to afford that $100, if you don't want to buy that more, and if you get a trade-in value or stuff like that, you know. Pixels are kind of boring. Greetings, what's up? I honestly have no clue how much I would pay for an LG phone. I know it would definitely change the way I multitask for a dual screen. I think that's a big thing. Canada has uh, has told the U.S. government to keep the ban up. They still have legal issues with Huawei spying and espionage. That's crazy. Um, I pre-ordered the Active 2. Do you think it will wait till October 3rd uh, for delivery? It will come early as a tab of 6. Uh, I was told mine would come in September, late September, so I think I will get it before then. Can you use Nova Launcher on the tab of 6? You can, but Nova Launcher doesn't look good as good on tablets, I would say. Um, whoa, a whole bunch of questions just loaded. Everybody drink. Um, 
trying to see where we last were. Okay. Have some conversations. Fold needs to have a pen. I do agree on that, actually. Uh, use some YouTube money to get the fold. The YouTube money I get a month barely covers the fold sometimes. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's a whole month of work for one phone. Uh, and I don't know if it would get that many views, to be quite honest. When comparing to other YouTubers would get it, like, probably a month before me. Or two weeks or three weeks before me. Views matter on timing. It's all about timing. Um, let's see. The EKG and pulse oximeter blood pressure features on the Galaxy Active 2 uh, will get FDA approval by November. The EU will green light it in December at the earliest. Got it. So that's why it should be in Q1 of 2020. Why doesn't streaming services like Amazon, Hulu, Stars, HBO Go allow streaming on VPN? It's a way around... Uh, is there a way around this? I'm always at Starbucks and I use a VPN because I uh, stream none of these. Um, I don't know, actually, because I use a VPN to stream Netflix, uh, but I never have tried Amazon, Stars, HBO. So Amazon, it probably wouldn't work because if you're doing a VPN from another country, then it wouldn't work because Amazon has different parameters for other countries. Same thing probably for Hulu. Um, and I'm not sure if HBO and Stars has that too, but it, it needs to be supported in the country you're doing it, that same website. So, like, Amazon.com would be the U.S., but, you know, Amazon.uk, Amazon.ca uh, for different countries. So it has to be whatever country that would work on, if that makes any sense. Um, since launch, the Note 10 Plus 5G has sold 221 thousand since launch okay yeah so it's not even a million of the or sorry not even a hundred thousand of theirs we were told november um we were told november or december for what sorry um where is the lt version of the active watch 2 uh that's what i want can't pre-order lt no there is no lt available yet did you get the pre-order deal for disney plus uh yes i actually posted it on my um, Instagram and my Twitter that everyone should buy this and my Facebook too. I, I was like, I was posting it. A bunch of friends and family end up getting it because yeah, it was an insane deal. It was like what, $4 a month for Disney plus for three years. Sure. Why not? Like I was like, yes, that, that is the best deal in streaming service period right now. Of course I took that deal. New Galaxy Watches are coming. Uh, there will be no new Galaxy Watch, at least until the next time around with the S11, maybe. Uh, but as of right now, the new Galaxy Watch is the Galaxy Watch Active 2. Holy heck. Wow. MFX. Wow. $50 Super Chat? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, that's wow. Uh, sorry, I had to, I had to stop for everything right there for that. Um, yeah. Thank you. I really I appreciate that. Um, let me actually read your message. Uh, surprise! The baby has arrived. Uh, here's to the baby fund. LOL. Uh, brought to you by Fifty First Day Questions. Uh, thank you so much for that, man. I really uh, I'm I'm completely speechless. Thank you so much for that. Um, please uh, email me because uh, you are automatically entered to win one of those um, to win on the uh, on the Amazon stuff for that. that thank you. I mean, I just that that really appreciate that. Um, let me bring up fifty first day questions. Uh, so yeah, brought to you by fifty first day questions. If you haven't heard, uh, which man, the the downloads on this app are really growing. So thank you guys for that. Um, 50 first day questions is the app that I made a long time ago or not a long time ago this year. Uh, but it's a really fun game to play on a date night. If you haven't played it with a date, please do. It's a really fun game. 
to play on a first date or on, you know, a 10th year anniversary. It is a really fun game and it kind of just, you get to remember things or ask things and just kind of like curious about finding things. So it really is a great game and definitely uh, something that I recommend downloading. Uh, download it, rate it uh, high, and it really helps out the channel as this downloads for the game have really improved over the past few months. So thank you again for that. More Super Chats. Thank you, you guys, so much. Uh, R. Rossin, much love to R-C-K-Y, the new father guy. I'm, I guess I'll be the family guy, right? <laughs> um, and uh, and my uh, measly con Alex, thank you so much for the Super Chat. It's not a measly, measly contribution. Any contribution really helps out. Uh, thank you guys so much for that. Holy heck. <laughs> Lori, here's a little more for the baby. Congratulations. Thank you guys so much. I, I the love is is really there. I I totally appreciate all of these donations. I, I really do. I'm getting a little teary eyed. Um thank you guys so much. I, I, I really appreciate it. Um Alex making it rain uh with another chat. Um uh yeah. Uh, thank you guys so much for that. Um Still a little speechless. Uh, where was I on the questions? I guess we have to drink because uh, that was like, it was so many uh, super chat questions. <laughs> so, so yeah, uh, everyone drink to that. Okay, let's get back to the chat. And uh, thank you guys so much again for the super chats. I, I always appreciate it and just, wow. I'm so, yeah, wow. Uh, all right. Um... Everyone, uh, everyone hit the like button. Thank you, Quiet Storm, for reminding everyone on that. I have a Note 10 Plus 5G. So far, it works great on the non-5G areas. Yeah, uh, and it really is, that's the whole point, is that, you know, you don't need the 5G version, but it's going to be great quality no matter what, right? Um, hi, Ricky. Best gimbal for the Note 10. Uh, give advice. Thanks. Um, so I have not opened it. As you will see, it's very shiny plastic around it. But I am very excited for the new Osmo Mobile 3. I get it. I will be unboxing it this week and really putting it through its paces. But the fact that this folds like this, oh, it makes it probably the best travel one. That was my issue with a lot of gimbals for smartphones. And why I just started carrying the Osmo Pocket, which I do not have here, but I have the case for it. Because this is so much of a smaller gimbal than needing to get like an extra gimbal. Uh, so the fact that it compacts like this is really awesome. So definitely the Osmo Mobile 3 is one to beat right now. And it's mainly because of its compact size. And it's honestly really great quality. We got some more Super Chats going. Uh, let, let me uh, just... Uh, guys, uh Baby Fund. <laughs> $10 Super Chat. Thanks so much. Uh, um, okay. L Lav... Lavern, Laverny? Hopefully I pronounced that. Laverny Clark, uh, thank you so much for your super chat. Uh, you know, got five on it, you know. Uh, support Ricky and Shaw, new YouTube channel. Oh, uh, oh, R. Rawson, if only I could get her to agree to I told her, I'm like, babe, you're going to be spending the day at home. Might as well start a YouTube channel. And, you know, I'll, I'll be featured on there. And it'll be, you know, uh, you know. Tekken baby, you know, uh, but yeah, uh, really, it was just awesome. Uh, Mike, thank you so much for the super chat donation. Uh, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Um, uh, let's see. Let's get back to these. Where were we? Disney plus gimbal. There we go. All right. Is, um, is there a new way to use edge lighting on the note 10 plus without, having uh pop-ups on the screen when you get a message as far as i know it's the only way i haven't really played too much with edge lighting though so i didn't really tweak it or see if i could tweak it but that was the only way i saw when i had it on i'm not a big fan of edge lighting personally so i didn't use it past the first week uh but that was what i've noticed got my note 10 plus i'm having a problem with the s pen i had to replace it uh got the new one do you know if other Note 10 Pluses are having an issue with the S Pen? No. Um, if you're having an issue with the S Pen, maybe you might have to replace the actual S Pen itself um, or the phone itself if the S Pen isn't uh, isn't the issue. So yeah, I'm not sure, uh, but no. I can, I can tell you um, out of the three other people I know that have a Note 10 or a Note 10 Plus, none of them have had an issue 
uh, with it. So yeah. October is going to be a very good, but uh, possibly more busy month. Yes, October is going to be crazy for sure. Um, um, is there no new 45 watt chargers in the U.S. yet? Oh, there is no new 45 watt chargers in the U.S. yet. Yeah, I've been waiting for my freaking uh, 45 watt charge for sure. MFX sounds like DMX. Funny, because DMX is my favorite uh, rapper, uh, old school rapper. Um, well, DMX first, then two. Yeah, I, I related to DMX, but Two Box is always one of my favorites. Not to sort of East Coast thing of Big Year and all that, but yeah, like those. Oh, well, yeah, East Coast, and, East Coast and West Coast. There you go. Uh, wow, sorry. Getting more Super Chats. I just want to make sure to uh, follow through with the Super Chats. CD, thank you so much for your donation. Really appreciate it. Um... <laughs> so there are two smaller. Uh, uh, no problem. Thank you so much. Um, I support Tech and Baby. Tech and Baby. I will let my wife know that's the new name of the channel we need to have. Tech and Baby. <laughs> uh, holiday. Happy belated birthday. Uh, Becky Lynch for the win uh, on my birthday. Uh, the wife wanted uh, me to send you $5. So <laughs> well, thank you. As well as life so much, uh, really, um, I appreciate it as always, as you guys know. <laughs> Alan, thank you so much. $20 super chat, here's to the baby. Thank you guys so much. Uh, really, just, y you guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much. I, I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys know that. Um, just, wow. Thank you. Um, all right, let's get to, uh, back to the chat, um... Woo. Um, uh, what do you think is a good phone for a child? So I have a really big thing about this, actually, because I have um, an eight-year-old daughter. Um, and um, so with that being said, um, she had originally the Moto G5 Plus. That was her first phone that I got her. Still a great phone to get, even though, although right now you'd probably get the Moto G6. That'll probably be around 100 bucks. On Amazon um, let me look that up for you just so I can even uh, tell you for sure um, but I think that would be a really good one to go with if you just want well, you know want to get an entry-level phone moto g6 I think it's gonna be at a really good price point for a really great phone so yeah you can get the phone for about a hundred and thirty nine uh, what's the difference between this version? This is a 4 gig of RAM version. I'm trying to see if I can get the 4 gig of RAM version. But if not, 3 gig should be fine. Uh, but yeah, so you can get it for around 100 and 39 for the Moto G6. And I think that, you know great for a kid um a great solid phone i don't think they would have any issues with and yeah that would be a solid one i'll even i'll link it in the chat right now just so you have it um so that's the moto g6 i think that would be a really solid one however right now i am at the point where i am just trying to find the least expensive phone with wireless charging and the only good solution really is an older phone like a s7 or right now, I think actually now that I mention that the uh, G the G7, so the LG G7, I think is at an all time low for like two hundred bucks. And the reason why I say it's it's really a, a, a why I, w I would want my daughter at least to have one with a um, with wireless charging is because you know kids break cables, and uh, having one like that is definitely. A really great way to go uh, so just looking at it this is a, a really a much better phone for under 200 however it is renewed so which means it was like it's a refurbished model uh, but that is hundred and seventy five dollars so that would probably be the absolute best one to go with a really amazing phone and it has wireless charging which again the benefit of that is just that they can just drop it on the charger and you don't have to worry about breaking it or anything like that I've been debating on getting one for my daughter right now, um, but yeah, that's what I've been uh, leaning towards, I guess you would want to say. Um, hey, one more super chat. 
Um, JRBs, uh, specifically for daughter number one, absolutely. Um, she is still getting used to the fact of the baby uh, and everything. It's just really cute, of course. Um, uh, so yeah, but that's what I would think would be good phones for a child. Obviously, get a really good case for it. Um, you definitely want amazing drop protection and a screen protector. Uh, does anyone know when Samsung Active 2 watches release LTE? Only Bluetooth models available right now. As far as I know, that is uh, to be determined. Uh, they're still talking to carriers to see which one will carry the LTE variant. Uh, stop, drop, shut them down, open up shop. Whoa, no, that's a rough rider's rope. And hopefully it doesn't get flagged for that because I'm definitely not a good singer. Uh, but I know that song by heart. Um, that was the song I would blast in my car in high school. That was Ricky in high school. Um, there is an elder phone, uh, want to get one for my grandma. Got it. Uh, which elder phone, like the jitterbug kind of style or what, which one? Uh, what would you, uh, be a good upgrade for a gear S3 frontier? Um, you can get either the Galaxy Watch or the new Galaxy Watch Active 2. I think both are going to be good. Both have a bigger battery. Uh, the Galaxy Watch is really the upgrade to the Gear S3. I can tell you my brother uh, liked it much better for the battery life. Uh, so he definitely liked it. Um, so yeah, I would say the Galaxy Watch will give you a much better battery life. And the Active 2 will give you a different design. Um, as well as a slight upgrade in battery life. Wait, Samsung did not give you the Tab S6 to review? Social media team is slacking. Yeah, if you know anyone on that social media team that can give me a Tab S6 to review, oh my God, that would be much appreciated because I would love to start reviewing Samsung products if they would actually send them to me and, you know, review more things. But yeah, I, I, I wish. Because uh, it's funny because, like, I, I <laughs> Samsung is my most viewed, right? Like any video I do, if I do an LG video and if I do a Huawei video, if I do any other brand, versus Samsung video, the same same content. The Samsung video will get so many more views. But yet I get products from LG, Huawei, everyone else, uh, but I don't get it from Samsung. So I've always found that kind of funny. Um, can you review another 45 watt charger since the Samsung one is delayed? Um, I have thought about doing that actually. So I am in the process of seeing if that does work, uh, actually with a 60 watt charger. Uh, so yeah, coming soon. Um, is the baby getting a phone when he's born? <laughs> no, my wife is trying to make this rule of like no screens till five. And I was like, that's not going to happen. Um, but, uh, it's, it's kind of interesting. Like, you know, cause I have never really checked out all the kid tablets. Um, I feel like I would maybe lean towards the Amazon Kindles cause you know, kids and they actually cover if it breaks, which is just insane um, for like one year. So yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I plan on probably getting my son a tablet probably at the age of three. I think that would be good. I don't believe, you know, kids, I mean, you could play like, a, like I remember one time when I was uh, watching uh, my friend's daughter and we were running around and running around. I was getting a little tired. I was like, let me take like a five minute break and all I did was play a video and it was just like, it was some, it was some animated video, but she was like three and you know, she was so entranced in this screen, very colorful. I don't know if it was like Wreck-It Ralph or I think it was maybe Big Hero 6. Um, and it was just, you know, she was just mesmerized by the colors of the screen and all this kind of stuff. And like, it just held her attention for five minutes. And I didn't want to do it too much longer than that because, you know, it, it was it wasn't my daughter and he doesn't let her like watch TV at that point. Uh, so yeah, so now like it was something that I noticed. I'm like, okay, so it's something that can definitely take, but you don't want to have them like always like that. Uh, not even me, a techie. Um, I, I like kids having activities. I, I don't know. It's just, I still like that um, in terms of it. I, I like you know, doing stuff without screens as well, even though that's kind of, you know, I literally have screens all over my life. Uh, but yeah, I, I that, that's how I feel at least. So no, he will not be getting one when he's born. Uh, what's your guess uh, as what Apple's one more thing will be? I think the one more thing will be the pen support. If, if it's gonna have pencil support, I think that will be the one more thing. 
Um, have you confirmed the name of the little baby? Yes, it is Alexander Parker Perez. Um, I love my Note 10 Plus with 400 gigabyte SD card. Wish I could have met you in New York. Oh, uh, yeah, I wish I could have met you. I, I met some people. It was really great meeting people in New York, and it was definitely a lot of fun. Uh, what do you think about the new iPhone, and where does it rank uh, with the S with the Note 10 Plus or with the Note 10? Uh, I can't really say without first testing it. So I will be I will be ordering the iPhone as soon as it comes out, and we'll see when we get it. Uh, and I'll be comparing it side by side on everything. Um, the Tab S6 is thin, light, and really like the S Pen. Uh, it's very fast. The only thing I don't like is that it isn't in a good place for the S Pen. The magnet, the magnet is weak. I um, I need a case so I don't lose it. Yeah, it really is a tablet that I feel like you need a case for. Um, I own the uh, 55 MU8000. Thinking of um, thinking of, do you think a QLED is an upgrade worth getting picture-wise? Uh, really noticeable difference between them. Uh, well, Stephen, you actually asked the perfect person for this because that is what I had before. I had the 8000 series. I don't know if it was MU at the time because you know it changes every year. But I had an 8000 series. I was perfectly content with it. I actually had a 65 inch. So I literally had a 65 inch, right? And I didn't really need to get a new TV. I, I, I hadn't planned on getting it for another year or two when I would buy a TV. Here's the thing. My friend was moving. He was like, hey, I know you get uh, TVs at a discount. Um, what do you think about selling me your TV and getting a new one for yourself? And I liked that idea. I was like, well, I mean, I don't need, but why not? And the price difference was like, I was paying only like, I think, 250 or maybe 300 with tax uh, to upgrade to a QLED. So I literally upgraded from an 8000 to a QLED. I will say the QLED is much brighter, uh, which I do have the sun hitting my uh, my TV, so I definitely did notice a difference in that aspect. Um, overall, the HDR is much, much better, uh, in my opinion, as well, because of it. Um, so yeah, and when I bought my PS4 Pro, it was just like perfect with it. The blacks look great. It's bright, and the local dimming is much better, although not everyone will notice that, but that is definitely something that's better. Um, have Samsung given up on Bigsby? They have definitely reeled it back. I still have my old Palm Trio 650. Love that phone. That was a really good phone. Uh, I turned on my G1 recently. It's very slow. Gives me nostalgia, but it gives me nostalgia. Definitely can see how that is. What is eSIM? eSIM is electronic SIM. It's basically a, a digital SIM that's inside uh, the phone, so you don't have to have a little card. Um, I should see my old BlackBerry Flip still works. There you go. eSIM is like a second SIM card, one that's built into the phone. Exactly. Um, not sure about what band it... Oh, um... Google's new Pixel phone will come out with smart 90 hertz refresh rate. If they step their refresh rate up and smart, uh, Samsung needs to do smart 120 hertz refresh rate, I would love Samsung to do a smart refresh rate on their next phone. I think it's a definitely time. Nova works looks fine on the Tab S3 using uh, KLWP... Um, Oh, custom live wallpapers for it. Okay. I have to tweak it a lot in mine, but I have not tried Nova for uh, probably a good almost two years in tablets, actually. So I have to try it again. Um, when is 50 uh, first baby questions? <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, that would be an interesting one. Um, looks like someone is getting his crib tucked out. Yeah, right? Gotta get... Uh, hey, man, this will pay for the baby crib for sure. Um, Ricky's baby toys reviews. Everything coming soon. <laughs> Ricky, you just didn't know how much uh, you were really liked and appreciated. You always do a great job. Great information. Thank you. 
Um, uh, let's see. I think the Galaxy Fun Vault is filled up. There you go. Um, how to start a trend. There you go. Trendsetter. Uh, whoa, a whole bunch of questions just loaded. Everybody drink. Whoa. I, I see we got a low. Uh, balance for uh, do, a daughter one. Specifically for daughter one. Uh, could you hold the baby up to the Lion King style when it comes out? I'll hold, I'll hold Alexander up like this. Uh, <laughs> uh, part three for daughter number one. Part four for daughter number one. Part five for daughter number one. <laughs> there you go. I, I will let my daughter know. I'm sure she'll be very happy. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Can you recommend a good app to maintain my phone from malware and antivirus in particular? Honestly, I don't believe in antiviruses. You don't really need them, to be honest. But I mean, you, I would say ad um, ad blockers are more important. Uh, but you can get, I mean, any of them. You can get um, McAfee. You can get um, AVG. All of those ones. They're all the same, pretty much. Uh, just only get one. If you have two antiviruses, it messes up uh, each other. So your phone just runs slow, and um, there it's effectively useless. Give the gift of jitterbug phones to your kids. They will hate tech and save you money later in life. Way to go. <laughs> uh, well, thank you very much for the support. Um, have uh, more babies. You can <laughs> you can super chat your way to the Fold Collectible. <laughs> I got to tell my wife, babe, we need to have more kids so we can get a Galaxy Fold. <laughs> Last time uh, I was in Canada, I had my Note 7. Oh, last time I was in Europe, I had my Note 7, believe it or not. I used it on the Maid of the Mist. It was cool. And finally, water system phone. Yep. Uh, rocking the Note 9 in what BZ. Um, loving my Note 10 Plus. Only issues I had is pass is was for passwords. A lot of apps seem seems a new samsung pass started saving uh on the phone didn't have from all my old phone you should do a video on it i don't use samsung pass i use only google because quite frankly i don't trust trust samsung with my passwords more than google i believe google would be better at that but yeah um overall that that's what i would rec i just but yeah samsung pass started saving on new phone but didn't have all of them from your old phone. We're using Google on your old phone, and that maybe that's why. Unfortunately, when I get back to the states, uh, they had to recall the S7 Edge. Ah. Oh. Um. Crap! I just wanted to give uh, ten dollars to daughter, <laughs> but kept getting twos. Well, thank you uh, overall for the ten dollars for my daughter. I really appreciate it. Uh, so, by the way, uh, oh, got it. It will certainly be better for cine uh, cinematic Lion King <laughs> than the cinematic Lion King. Oh, uh, sorry, uh, should have made, like, 25 bucks, uh, for the exchange rate. <laughs> um, I was going to say, sorry. Hi, Ricky. Uh, congrats on your baby coming. Happy belated birthday. Hope your channel keeps growing uh, from strength to strength. God bless. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, John. Um, going outside and being active is good for children. I definitely believe that. Sorry, there's a whole currency thing going on. I'm trying to avoid that. Um, discount code YouTube Tech Guy for TVs. <laughs> no, I just I have uh, some connections still in certain companies that I can get discount TVs for. Uh, with Apple um, I, iPhone 11 Pro and Apple Pen, Samsung plans to troll Apple's social media by bringing the Steve Jobs on words. Apple did not. Uh, did the same to us over the headphone jack being removed. Makes sense. Pregnant angry wife alert wrap up. 
streaming uh, stream warning alert, aka don't get Ricky in trouble with the wife alert. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, yes, we will be wrapping up now, guys. Um, let's see. Quiet Storm, you did get the Easter egg of my son's name. Um, <laughs> you down with APP? Yes. Uh, <laughs> uh, that you are not the first person to make the joke, by the way. I invented that joke. <laughs> um, I miss uh, the Android World uh, app on Apple. Zed changed the wallpaper. That sucks. Um, if I had money, I'd leave Crapple. Steve Jobs' famous words, an iPhone will never have a stylus. Apple, 2019. Yeah, about that. Um, can you tell or see the difference between AMOLED and Super AMOLED on a 1080p uh, smartphone? Yeah, I would say in terms of brightness, definitely when you go outside, you would see the difference. Uh, the nits are going to be higher on Super AMOLED. Do you think Timo will get the Note 10 5G or uh, should I just get it now? I don't know if they will get the Note 10 5G. I would probably just get it now. Um, personally, yeah. What do you think about AEW? Nothing like uh, comp. What do you think of AEW? Nothing like competition for WWE. I think it's great that we're getting competition. I think it's great that we're getting the Wednesday Night Wars. I think it's a really good thing. And I can't wait to see both. I love Cody and what he's doing. Um, and, you know, I got the Tech Club shirt. Uh, so, uh, definitely a fan of uh, a lot of wrestling. Should I upgrade my Gears 3 to the Galaxy Watch? I think you will love the battery life increase. Uh, that is the biggest thing I will say I liked and my brother liked. Uh, I got him uh, the Apple, uh, the Galaxy Watch um, for, I guess his birthday or Christmas. I forgot what it was, but yeah, he loved it. Hi, Ricky. Is it normal for the Samsung Note 10 to get really warm, almost uh, hot while charging? If you have it on the fast charge that it comes with, the 25 watt charge, yeah, it's going to get a little bit hotter. Apple getting a pen is weird. Possible, uh, possibly made by Samsung. Uh, I don't think it will use Wacom uh, digitizer, but if it does, uh, that's not what Apple Pencil uses, so I don't think so. All right, guys, we are calling it a night. Uh, thank you so much for everyone that tuned in to watch. I really appreciate it, guys. And thank you guys so much for the Super Chat donation. It's It was really just wow. I, I, I really do appreciate it, and I want, I want everyone to know watching that I do. Uh, thank you guys so much as always for watching. I will make sure to try to put out some great content for you guys this week and in the upcoming weeks. Um, make sure to hit that like subscribe button. And uh, as always, thank you again for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're going to find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.